Today, my name is Ricardo Gutierrez, and today I will be giving you a walkthrough on how to protect your compute resources and public facing applications using the virtual WAN and Palo Alto firewalls. As you can see here, I have a a subscription called cybersecurity and then within that subscription I created a virtual WAN and I created a virtual WAN in this resource group in the East US2 region. This architecture provides ingress inspection that means it'll protect your public facing applications which is represented by the inbound red arrow then we have the egress vnet which will be inspecting outbound traffic to the internet from your compute resources in azure and then we also have the on-prem connectivity so this will provide connectivity from on-prem to your Azure's VNet and the VNet will be able to communicate to your on-premises network. I will be giving you a quick overview of the ingress pattern. So once the packet hits the firewall right here, the firewall will send the packet to the destination application VNet in this case this one right here LOB2 so the firewall is in the packet via the virtual hub and then the virtual hub has connectivity to LOB2 VNet now for egress when you have a virtual instance hitting the internet it'll send the traffic through the virtual hub and then from the virtual hub, it'll send the traffic to the egress firewalls that live in the egress VNet. Now, let's say your VM instance wants to talk to an on-prem server, then the packet is sent to the virtual hub again. And then the virtual hub has a route either to the press route or through the VPN gateway. On your firewalls, you will want to set the express route as a preferred route by your VGP. Now I will go over the ingress pattern and how it works. So let's say you have a computer here have a user here that wants to connect to your web application this user will hit first Cloudflare Cloudflare will protect it against DDoS and you can apply some WAF rules as well then the packet will hit the application gateway right here and then the application gateway will send the packet to either firewall. Then the packet will hit the virtual hub, which is the one that builds the VNet peering between the ingress VNet and the web app VNet right here. Then once it hits the virtual hub, the virtual hub sends the packet to the internal application gateway right here. If you notice, the firewalls are built in zone one and zone two. Azure does not have zones, subnets built in zones. Rather, you build the resource in a zone. So you also specify the zones where you want to build the application gateways, the little balancers. Now we'll go over the egress pattern. 
So for the egress, that's you have a web app VNet and you have this virtual machine that wants to communicate to the internet. Well, there's a default route that points traffic via the virtual hub. So the packet is sent to the virtual hub. The virtual hub and its route table has a setting pointing the default route to the IP address of this load balancer. This is a layer four load balancer. Then this load balancer will send the packet to either firewall right here. Once it sends it to the firewall, it's inspected and then sent out to the internet. Uh, the firewalls live in zone one and zone two as well. Now I will be demonstrating the route tables that Azure builds when you build a VNet peering using the virtual hub. If you remember from the diagram, the web servers live in this subnet. So um, Azure Virtual WAN vHub built a route for you said sending the traffic bound to 10.175.0.0 10 slash 22 via the virtual network gateway. This is the virtual hub. If you notice here, this is the trusted interface of the Ingress firewall. So that will send traffic to that cider right here. Now, if you go to the Ingress VNet and go to the peerings, you will see that the virtual hub built a peering connection. This is done for you automatically. You no longer have to build intervening peering, peering connections. So that saves a lot of time and a lot of configuration headaches. No more UDRs, that's uh, user defined routes. So Azure takes care of that. And those routes are the ones I showed you previously. The entire virtual WAN and virtual hub infrastructure was built using Terraform and here are some of the lines that I use. 